I'm at Target and I've never seen this two pack here. Comes with the shopping cart. I should have got more from um, Walgreens when it was on sale. Uh, it wasn't from the Fort Fortnite line or anything like that, but they were just selling it with like other Easter candy and yeah, sort of stuff. It was really cheap too. These are not on sale. This is pretty cool. It's badass. The quad crasher is $14.99. Wow. It's not here though. And there's Peely. Full price. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright. Will the red hulk be here? Does not look like it. Of course not. What am I thinking? It's gonna show up in this area in a week or two. Still have all of these though. I only want their missing invisible woman, Shang-Chi. Ah. And some more. But they do have a good selection. Star Wars, of course. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Let it go, let it go. <laughs> They're not selling much of these. I'm having a sale on it though. Alright. Good morning, everybody. It is 7 24. It is a Thursday morning. I just got out of the YMCA. I was doing some shadow boxing. And then I looked on my phone and looked up uh, popfinder.com and um, I put in the DPCI of the Red Hulk, uh, Marvel Legends Red Hulk. And uh, there's one showing up here in downtown Charlotte. And you know what? I have not faced this type of traffic in a while because, well, I actually used to work uh, in, at the convenience store at the bus transit in downtown for like a couple years. Uh, back in high school well actually after high school and um, well actually no no it was during high school what am I thinking and then um, uh, let's see yeah I mean this traffic freaking sucks man I'm so glad I don't have to, I don't have to deal with this every day um, but yeah I'm heading towards this downtown target I hope I hope they still have it maybe someone already got there before me we shall see but I also checked again um, and there's um, a couple in Albemarle as well so if we get if we can't get it here we can get it at Albemarle hopefully uh, we shall see but yeah let's hope for the best all right so I was five minutes late to get into that Hulk at downtown Target it's really unfortunate but hey I'm, I'm really hoping a, a fellow collector got it instead of a reseller so anyways um, supposedly at this um, Albemarle Target they should have two so we shall see all right so now it's around like 7 30 ish so they didn't have it this morning i mean they had two but they didn't unload the truck yet so they couldn't put it out um so i called later on like three o'clock or so and told dude if you could hold me hold one for me and they did at guest services so yeah i just got off work came here and picked it up so that's awesome box is kind of beat up but that's all right this dude is coming out of the box uh we'll check it out when we get home hey good morning everybody vic here today is target con 2020 looks like we have some people here waiting probably some funko pops as well let's go check it out check it out guys so those uh three other people waiting and man we were talking man really cool guys but yeah we didn't have to worry about you know anyone getting shorted but yeah, as you can see, they already grabbed one. Mandalorian flame door looks sweet. Apex Legends, awesome. And there's some more over there too. 
So it looks like they came out with these Funk Over strategy game, which is really cool. I really like this one. But nah, I'm done. <laughs> I'm not. Well, I'm not getting those at least. It's Kool Aid. There's some more over there in the round corner. I'll show you out here in a little bit. It's kind of busy right now. More in that area. All right, let's see what they have over here. I never checked these out. Three and three quarter Shazam figure, Batman, seven ninety nine. Well, it comes with mystery accessories. <laughs> yeah, seven ninety nine seems pretty expensive for those. Just my opinion. But hey, if you like those, it makes you happy, man. Collect whatever you want. Who cares what anybody else thinks? <clears throat> There's a thing. Muhammad Ali exclusive over here. Yeah, they had a whole bunch. <coughs> Let's see what's around here. Anything on clearance? Nope. All right, yeah. Let's get out of here. All right, check it out, guys. So here's all the other exclusives. Ten inch thing. That looks pretty cool. <laughs> no, I said I'm done with ten inch pops, but man, that looks too sweet. It's all the Fantastic Four. Yeah. <laughs> well, they don't have the Chester six inch. She's saying they, they ain't in the back. Is it on Pop Finder? Uh, well, I ain't going Pop Finder, but it says she says it's in stock. Ah, okay. Saying, but they, she can't find it. I see. Ten inch Kool Aid. Look <laughs> <laughs> a little crazy there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that's about it. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Right, target number two. See if they have anything different. Do you have Kool Aid? Beat up Kool Aid. Hey, how's it going? All right, dude. So I got another pop at this place. Uh, you guys know at the uh, other targets we got the Mandalorian, but uh, yeah, I had to get this other one. I'll show y'all one. We get to the crib. Alright, I actually already, well, I thought I was recording, but apparently I wasn't. So, they do have Marvel's Rescue, Malekith, which I haven't seen in a while, Wasp, all for $17.99. Iceman, Cyclops, Super Samurai, Dazzler, got a cannonball back there. Nano Gauntlet is $75.99. AT ST Raider uh, it's 80 bucks it's like they got a whole bunch no one's buying these you guys remember like the previous version which was not any it's not related to Mandalorian um, we found it at Ross for like I think 20 bucks 15 20 bucks I forget so hopefully this ends up at Ross too because 80 bucks that's that's totally a rip off but hey if you got the money and you like it and it makes you happy man that's all that matters always you know collect the way you want but always within your budget and make sure you're not giving hell like to your wife or your family because of this hobby don't get greedy this helmet 100 bucks so i also found this guys oh baby i found it at a cart over there so i think they're stocking up stuff but this was the only one so as you can see, it's the black suit version of Storm. We have the white version, and this, oh my God, this is great. Her face looks just amazing. All right, what else? But yeah, I found that one in this pile here. We also have Dr. Doom right there. Suku, Harley. Some pops too. Mulan. 
Got this bat raptor too. It's pretty cool. Oh, that's sick. We're on a roll, man. It's been a good day. Can we find a chase? I've only came across one chase in my life, and it was the um, the speeder bike Luke. I'm not even a fan of it, but I had to get it because it was my first chase. Oh yeah, I actually have the Joker too. We got that from the um, the mystery box. All right, I think that does it. Yeah, let's get out of here. Well, check it out. They have a clearance section over here. So these are going for fifteen ninety nine. T Rex twenty one ninety nine. Tyrion's going for, let's see, $23.99. He was $30. I really like this statue. I want to get it, but not with that price. I'm finally coming across this two-pack again. It's been a while since I've seen it. I wish it was cheaper than $33.99. All right, let's get out of here. Machines on sale. Ten bucks. <clears throat> That's good to see. I don't see anything else. Looks like Overwatch figures are on sale. Ten bucks. Mm -hmm. I've seen these figures so much, like I keep forgetting which one I have and don't mm -hmm. need. I actually have two of the Mercy two packs, and I bought one at Ross, and then I bought one at GameStop for five dollars. And yeah, I was just checking yesterday, and I noticed that. Um, I have two of them, so I'm gonna have to sell it or trade it or something. Let's see, no, nothing on clearance. Sorry. Let's check a uh, different section. Check it out. Paul Demarin. Paul Demarin's. I think I forgot to say his last name. Now I think about. It. But anyways, his X-wing fighter plane is thirty bucks. It used to be a hundred bucks. I think I might cop this. <sighs> that looks really freaking rad. What do y'all think? That's a good price? $30? I mean, 100 bucks. That's. Man, I can't believe it was that much. I think Luke's swing, uh, X Wing is much higher. I forget. Anyways, I'll, I'll think about it. Oh, let's see the remnants of Target Con 2020. So yesterday was Target Con. They have Peely. I don't know if that was part of the Target Con. Tombstone. Apex, the Pathfinder character. This dude's uh, special ability is, uh, I believe, if I remember correctly, he uses like a grappling hook. All the characters in Apex Legends have different, um, unique abilities. That's if we go out and show some details for the Silver Surfer. Kirby. Sentinel. These look awesome, but yeah, I don't need these pops. Although I would, oh, they do look great. And the thing, oh, they have this. I really do like these mystery boxes. Man, I got a lot of the X Men ones. Alright, that's about it. Let's get out of here. Alright, my dudes, we're back at Best Buy. This is two days later after the clip that you probably saw. Um, previously in this video um, so I woke up this morning with um, I was looking at the community or the YouTube subscription list and I saw on the community tab from Toy Shiz that the Armin uh, Zola 2 pack is on sale for $23.99 on the uh, website but it's all sold out but we saw it here in the clearance section they do price match so let's go check it out all right we were too late looks like um, they were already taken so somebody must have came this morning after seeing that it was on sale on the website as well maybe uh, but yeah I'm not finding uh, I checked uh, several other Best Buys and they don't have it so we're too late probably yeah we should have picked it up at um, that price $33 and then who knows I could have just came back today and got the difference but oh well sometimes you you win sometimes you lose all right, let's go somewhere else. All right, my dudes, it's been a while since we've been to Ross. Let's see what they got. Nothing here. Ooh, 
Ooh, X-Men, banana thingies. Die cast. <clears throat> wow, okay. I've never seen this version. $13.99. Ooh -wee. That still seems pretty high. Oh man, it comes with all the off so many awesome characters. I do have some from the 90s, but they're much big, a little bit much bigger than these actually. Like almost two times bigger. I'll show you guys one day. I still have them. Yeah. Hand so Black series or Marvel Legends. Well, we haven't seen a Marvel Legends here in forever. Last time we found one, it was at uh, the Ragnarok Thor figure. I do have some Fortnite figures. Let's see, Carbide, which we already have, is $11.99. It was $25. Not bad. We already have Skull Trooper as well. He's going for eleven ninety nine as well. Uh, looks like that's about it. Kappa. All right, let's get out of here. All right, we're at Second Charles. Let's go check it out. Got some DC stuff over here. What's this? Batman Joker, Best of Enemies. 50 bucks. Collector's guy with two figurines. Alrighty then. Got the V for Vendetta book and mask set. Which I actually really want, but it is what? $30? I do have a mask, but it's a cheap one. But this one looks, yeah, much better. It's bigger too, which would fit my face a bit, a lot better than the other one got this Iron Man statue three hundred dollars damn it's from Bowen Designs oh that's a pretty good company this is, this looks kind of old so yeah. oh here's one of the 10 inch pops that I do have it's going for twenty four ninety five retail was twenty nine ninety nine so that's pretty good really good rare comic books oops let's not break anything what are these shall the monks doing $21 gold Captain America is $33.95 Okay, I gotta watch out. I'm probably gonna get copyrighted because of this song. From, uh, what's his name? I'm totally forgetting his name. Very good singer. I used to listen to him a lot in high school. Oh, they got a shatter spot? Oh, he's been here for a while. Yeah, I doubt they have any new Marvel Legends. Jack Lantern. Sunfire. Another sunfire. Yeah, nothing new. I expected. A Tron bike here. Fifteen dollars. Try me. Uh, Looks like this has been open. Maybe that's why it's that price. These have been here for a while. These are going for $64.99. Damn. I should have got that wall back. Jesus. <laughs> Mr. Miyagi. 
only seen this at Target one time. It's $34.99. Yeah, I'm due. Comic version, seven bucks. Loose Funko Pops. <laughs> Let's see how much these go for. Five bucks for Majin. What is this? Dude, with this scale, will Thundercab, the shadow. Eleven ninety five. Ooh. I wonder if this scales with six scale figures. <laughs> Doesn't say. Got this as well. This is going for eight bucks. Now I got a feeling they're going to be small. Yeah. No, maybe this. I may have to Google it. Terminator, twenty four ninety nine. <sighs> the Shadow. All right, let's go to a different section. Alright, once again, just got out of the Y. Just play some fives. Um, basketball, five versus five. Hey, I haven't played fives in, man, over seven years, man. <laughs> and I played with a whole bunch of high school kids, man. So imagine that. 34, if you don't know. I'm tired, dude. Something happened, man. I may have put it in the uh, thumbnail. Uh, I'll tell, tell y'all at the end. I'm gonna show you all the toys. Last time they, I don't think they had this thing. Maybe it was hidden somewhere. Okay, cool. White Ranger still here, waiting for that to go on sale. Yeah, I think this is a bus. There's not really anything new. All right, there was a, a sub who asked about checking these out, but yeah, here y'all go. Yeah, if you've been with this channel, for a while you guys know I, I check these once in a while since I don't collect them so I checked everything all the time man especially with the videos how I've made my videos it'll be just way too freaking long so I try to just focus on the things that I usually collect and I collect a lot of stuff so <sighs> we do usually cover a good amount of stuff yeah nothing new so yeah let's not waste the time here let's get out of here this is where we found the unchained armored Superman let's see what they have today I wonder if the bat wrap is gonna show up at Walmart. Maybe they're I don't know, I know they're at GameStop, some GameStops, and then Amazon for sure. Wow, they don't <laughs> they don't have much Marvel Legends at all. Jeez. I think last time they had a whole uh, Fantastic War four wave. If I remember correctly. Oh, Magnet Defender, nice. Uh, Two magnet defenders. What's back there? Another magnet. Jeez. Gold Ranger. A whole bunch of Dino Red. Or Beast Morphers. Red Ranger. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like they have anything new. Got wedge. Oh, they got a Kara. Nice. Uh, you know what? I wish I should have got um, Jedi Jedi Knight Luke a while ago when when we saw him. But I passed on it. I didn't think it was going to be that rare, but I think he's selling for a good bit right now. Lando. So Mandalorian is not here yet. 
Yeah, nothing new. Yeah, let's get out of here. Alright, do they have the vintage Mandalorian? Of course they don't. They just got my second Snoke. Come on. Three Snokes, jeez. Get that whole fool out of here. DJ. Let's go to a different section. Man, they haven't restocked new Marvel Legends at this Target in a while. I'm at the Matthews Target. Jeez, man. <laughs> oh yeah, we saw the X-Men nano set. Nano metal figs, whatever you want to call it. At Ross is $13.99, which I still think is actually a high price. Alright. Yeah, that does it. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm gonna pick this up in the future. So, uh, uh, a fellow collector mentioned in the previous video, um, in the previous video where we found uh, the Unchained Armor and um, Hellbat. That it seems like these won't fit in the Bat Raptor. Have anyone tried it? If if you did, let us know how it fit. If it did fit or not, I don't think it will, because <laughs> it's seven inches. All right, let's get out of here. Oh snaps! Got the restock of the Bob Ross. Excellent figure, by the way. Seriously, one of my favorite pickups this year. This is an awesome pop too. I keep this right in, uh, right under my main monitor. Oh, they still have a whole bunch of these. Jeez. A lot of other collectors quitting pops as well. <laughs> I'm really surprised these dooms are still here. I'm, I'm really tempted, but yeah, I really just don't need. I'm only going to pick up a, a pop like once in the blue moon. <laughs> this one is tempting. <sighs> I really like it, but I'm Gooch. Oh man, somebody! Some, oh, <sighs> looks like they restocked on the this two pack here, Shredder and Krang. I think these are showing up everywhere. There. They need to restock on the uh, Bebop and Rockstead. It seems like a lot of people couldn't pick it up, of course, because a whole bunch of the resellers are just basically taking them all when they see them. Oh, the Hellraiser. So this part is a voiceover due to a copyright claim, but here is Pinhead from the movie Hellraiser. It looks pretty sweet. His name is Pinhead for obvious reasons. Um, so I actually have this specific memory of when I was a kid when I first encountered Pinhead on TV. I was at my cousin's house in Virginia. They had a basement with a huge screen, big screen TV. And I was going downstairs to the basement because I heard like a scary movie going on and... I looked and it was Pinhead on the big screen and it freaked me out like it was just weird and but yeah <laughs> did y'all like the movie but yeah it's a great looking figure I uh, would love to pick it up but I'm gonna have to wait a bit hopefully it goes on sale later on it'll probably be taken before then so I probably should pick it up sometime later when I get paid um, but here is Candyman Pretty gruesome looking face. Extra face sculpt there. Here's it. Pennywise. And then here we have Trick or Treat. Looks like they restocked on those, which is nice to see. Um, yeah, NECA, they're just bringing out so much stuff. I mean, every company. It's like, man, there's just a lot more collectors out there now. But yeah, that's it. All right, this is the Target off of Albemarle. Let's see the remnants. They still have a whole bunch of Doctor Dooms, Galactus. Is everybody quitting Pops? It's a whole bunch of Kool-Aids. <laughs> this Pusheen with pizza, Squirtle.
Ooh, I kind of want that thing right there. I really like these, but I think they're just so overpriced. Five ninety nine. Yeah. I got a whole bunch of X Men ones that I bought like a while back when I first started collecting as an adult again. Um, uh, I think I got it for like two for three dollars. Pickle Rick. Uh, I think always gives a good laugh. Oh, snaps. I didn't see this last time. Target Con 2020 action packed. Uh, $14.99. Just for a shirt. Week. <laughs> Apex stock holiday from Tombstone. I think. Got MJ. That's pretty cool. Used to be my brother's favorite ball player, but after Kobe came about, yeah, Kobe's been his favorite. All right, let's get out of here. They do have some legends for clearance. Ooh, I do need Dagger, Union Jack, Loki. They're all ten dollars. A whole bunch of Wasp. Oh gosh, still need Cloak as well. Ten dollars, though, man. <laughs> Think about it. Alright. Oh, Dallas is going for 648. Alright, let's get out of here. seen this in a while. Alright, let's see. Do they have any Marvel Legends? Oh, they do. The whole f no, not the whole finesse wave. I'm surprised this wave is here. <laughs> Haven't seen those in a pretty long time. See anything new? <laughs> Sucks. Any new Star Wars? So the wrestlers. Oh. Thirty dollars. All that plastic. or so of course no new Star Wars Ray DJ Ceremony Luke Rose First Order Finn Poe Kylo Let's get out of here. All right, check it out. P Elite is going for twelve forty eight at this Target. So let's see. At my local Target, it was seventeen forty eight. So I think I might as well pick this up. Yeah. Got some fig pins for sale. On sale. Half price. It's Mickey. There's Donald. Sora from Kingdom Hearts and Goofy. It's Carmount. Alright, that's pretty cool. What is a satellite receiver? Alright. That's pretty sweet. Nice. Alright, let's get out of here. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to my humble abode. Here is the haul from the last couple weeks. 
So at Target, we found this on clearance at 964. Yeah, not the most detailed figure. Pretty plain looking, but I need a dagger. I still need a cloak. Hopefully, I can find them at a cheap price. I'm wondering if... The, man, I'm really hoping that um, Five Below will start having Legends again. It's just... It feels like it's been a while. I mean, the last time they had Legends was the... Um, what um, what builder figure was that? Uh, the Guardians of Galaxy. Uh, man, I am blanking out. Freaking... Mantis. That's right, Mantis. Freaking... It shouldn't have even been a builder figure, but... Oh well, um, that was a really fun time, but unfortunately I didn't record any of those hunts, but yeah, those were some good deals, $5 for a Marvel Legend, so hopefully they have it again one day, we shall see, and then let's see, we also got this from Target, as you see, man, I can't believe it was $100, but there's a DPCI in case you need it, in case you want to find this on clearance as well, but we got it for 30 bucks. I was very surprised, um, I would love to have Luke's X-Wing, but <laughs> I doubt we're going to ever get that for less than $30 or fi even $50 or even $100. Um, it's probably really expensive expensive right now. I have no idea. I'm, I'm going to actually look it up later. Um, but yeah, um, I'm not going to get any of those Jabba's Palace or any of those vintage playsets unless I really like it. And I'm not really a fan of those, but the X-Wing and the vehicles I really like. So yeah. This X-Wing looks badass. I wonder what's the difference with uh, Luke's X-Wing. I'm going to have to actually look it up later. Or if anyone knows, please comment down below. i will be great to know. I'm sure a lot of other people are curious. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I guess I'm going to have to get Poe's, uh, the vintage card for him. The three and three quarter figure. So I can put him in that plane. Um, and then we have uh, Target Con. We got the Mandalorian with the flamethrower. Very awesome looking pop. Now I know I said I'm I think I may quit pops, but remember my key the key word is think. I don't like to make promises because I'm not for sure. So I knew you know I may get pops once in a while. I'm still gonna be getting that Guild Wars 2 uh Britlock one. So but yeah, I'm just gonna get pops once in a while. Um, and then here we have another purchase from Target, Peely, been waiting to get this, very awesome figure, it's a Fortnite figure from the McFarlane line, and yeah, we got it for $12.48, which is pretty awesome, um, it was retail $25, as you can see, um, I think on Amazon right now, it's like $17, so not too bad, it may even go cheaper later on, um, but yeah, very cool looking figure. And then we got the Red Hulk. Oh, yes. We're going to actually open this fella up here in a sec and do some size comparisons. But there he is. So, yeah, I would have loved to find him um, in the wild. But, yeah, uh, unfortunately, I had to work that day. And I kept checking Pop Finder and all the other targets around in my area. Just, you know, it was, uh, it was one in stock. And then later on, there was zero, like in almost every target. So... Luckily, I called and the um, the guy, the employee that I talked to, was really cool about it and said he would hold hold one for me, and he did. And I got off work and picked him up, so that's pretty cool. Very awesome looking Hulk. Love that expression. We'll take a better look later on. And then yes, so I told y'all I got another pop. <sighs> said I wasn't gonna get no 10 inch pops, but Funko reeled me back in. Mm. And Kool-Aid, the Kool-Aid man is classic. I mean, who hasn't tried Kool-Aid? Um, I guess nowadays, I don't know. Maybe kids nowadays don't really drink much Kool-Aid. I don't even know if it's that popular. But, um, heck, I haven't even drank Kool-Aid in a while. The last time was a pretty long time ago. But, yeah, as a kid, I mean, this Kool-Aid was very popular, I believe, in the 80s and 90s. So, I think he would be a great piece. You know, you guys know, I uh, some of you guys... Um, the longtime subscribers who've seen my kitchen tour, all the toys in my kitchen, know that uh, all my 10 inch pops are in there, so in the kitchen. So, yep, I'm gonna put him in the kitchen as well. It's gonna be very fitting since he's juiced up. <laughs> um, and then we have the retro carded Storm with the black suit, aka Aurora. Very beautiful looking figure. So basically a repaint of the 
the white version. But, oh, look at that gold trim. Love that. That looks so good. That's really nice gold paint there. I didn't realize that. It's nice and shiny, metallic looking. Very cool. But yeah, I wish I had the first recording when I was at Best Buy, but I, I after I recorded, or I thought I recorded, but I realized I didn't record. So, but yeah, I found this on the card, and man, I wish I, I wish y'all saw the uh, first reaction. But it's all gravy. We got her. That's pretty cool. But anyways, let's uh, open up this Hulk. All right, here he is out of the package. And I've got to say, he looked absolutely marvelous. I mean, especially that face sculpt right there. I mean, look at that expression. I think that's the best expression of a Hulk I've seen so far. Of course, this is actually not Bruce Banner as Red Hulk. It's actually of General uh, General Thaddeus uh, Thunderbolt Ross, who is actually Bruce Banner's uh, former father-in-law, uh, Betty Ross's father. So um, after Bruce Banner became the Hulk, um, you know Betty Ross died supposedly from the gamma radiation, and um, her father, uh, General Ross. Uh, basically wanted to capture Hulk and just defeat him in any way possible, but he couldn't. Um, until 2008, he became the Red Hulk in order to defeat the Incredible Hulk, or the Green Hulk, which is uh, Bruce Banner. And um, he, so he, his first, the Red Hulk's first appearance was on the first issue of Hulk in 2008. And from what I read uh, on Wikipedia, he uh, the readers did not even know who the Red Hulk was until like the eighth issue, I believe, or just sometime later on. So that must have been a very interesting read, you know? Must have been pretty suspenseful. And, um, you know, trying to figure out who the Red Hulk was. But, um, so yeah, supposedly in the storyline with Red Hulk, he actually kills... Um, a good amount of Marvel superheroes, including like Silver Surfer, uh, Doctor Strange, um, Abomination, Wendigo. And uh, he actually even gained cosmic powers after uh, killing uh, Silver Surfer and taking his board. And later on, Galactus uh, actually found out about the Red Hulk having the cosmic powers and took it away. And um, actually brought all the other... Uh, heroes that the red hulk killed back to life uh with no memory of what happened with them and the red hulk so um if i'm wrong with any of that information please comment down below i just read this on wikipedia recently so uh, it's pretty cool to find out um that he is not bruce banner i'm pretty sure a lot of y'all don't know as well so that is a pretty cool fact um, so yeah, this figure is basically a repaint of the all the previous Hulks that we've been getting lately, uh, like the one from the Wolverine 2-pack and the Grey Hulk, and um, it doesn't matter, I mean, it's a whole different color scheme, and it just looks fabulous. I mean, if they came out with a yellow one, I would buy it, if they came out with a blue one, I would as well, I'm sure a, a lot of y'all would too, um, and this is a Target exclusive, so... I know this may be very difficult to get. We, we, I actually got very lucky. I mean, if I didn't call and got that um, employee to hold it, then I probably wouldn't even ever acquire this. Because I mean, <laughs> this is. I mean, I'm pretty sure this sells out very quickly when it even comes on Target, the Target app. Um, so I don't know. They need to do something different where everybody has a chance to get these exclusives. It's just really. I don't know, it just feels really unfair for other people. I mean, I got it, but I feel for other people. You know what I'm saying? It's just, um, yeah, it's just really unfortunate that that's the way it is. But um, So I'm not going to go through too much of the articulation. Y'all probably already know. Y'all probably seen all the previous hulks. But I do have to point out, it does have the butterfly joints, just like all the previous ones, which is always nice, especially on such a big figure. And it's got the single jointed elbows, double jointed knees. Um, so the biggest difference, yeah, it's just basically the face and the color scheme. Um, it, it didn't come with like a ripped shirt like uh, some of the previous Hulks did. 
But I mean, look at that face. It's got the yellow eyes. Very nice details to the mouth, even the tongue, the teeth, the hair. Very expressive, which I love. All right, let's do some uh, let's do some size comparisons. All right, let's put them back here. All right, uh, let's put Marvel's the Marvel Legends Colossus next to him. As you see, he's a lot shorter. And then let's see, let's put, let's put Juggernaut. So as you see, Juggernaut is a little, a tad bit taller, mostly due to his helmet. Uh, Colossus is looking very small compared to them. <laughs> and then let's see, let's put, let's put She-Hulk. There goes Colossus. Alright. As you see, they all scale very well together. Um, let's put some smaller figures. Let's put um, let's put Mando. As you see, he's very small compared to them, as expected. Let's put that blade. And let's see, let's put some, all right, let's put Wendigo, Wendigo next to him, Wendigo is a tad bit taller, uh, the Red Hole actually defeated Wendigo at 1.2 in the storyline, and he also defeated Abomination, if I remember, if I remember correctly, which is pretty cool to know, um, if anyone else knows more cool stuff, cool events or more cool things about the red hole please comment down below that'd be awesome i think we'd all like to know and let's see let's put put some of the previous hulks next to him this is the hulk from the wolverine wolverine two pack And let's put the Great Hulk. One of my favorites right now. Um, I actually got the rip jacket from this Hulk. Um, I know this the Great Hulk came with like the orangish one, I believe, orangish color. But it just didn't look good. So I mean I think that matches really well. But yeah, as you can see, yeah, they look awesome together. Man, seriously, I could buy any Hulks out there with this body mold with different expressions. Just the, these are excellent figures, you know, got the torso rotation. It's really, really nice face sculpts. All right, so let's get to that story um, of someone accusing me of having the coronavirus. So this actually happened at the YMCA. Um, so I just got done um, lifting some weights and doing some shadow boxing. And then I went to the basketball courts at the Y. And there were a whole bunch of high school kids playing um, basketball, five or five versus five, full court. And so I asked to join next. And uh, mind you, all of these kids were a minority as well. Um, in case you don't know, I am Korean. Um, I was born in Korea and I came to the States when I was a year old. Um, but anyways, uh, so um, it doesn't matter what race they are, that's irrelevant. But um, so I joined in and uh was playing of course i got really tired after a couple um times running back and forth and um i kind of um hunched over and coughed a little bit i dry heaved because i was just so exhausted and the kid that was guarding me he said he looked to the crowd which were there was a whole bunch of other high school kids who were watching and um of course some was some were his friends from the looks of it and he was like oh hell no man this dude has coronavirus I straight up, man, I, 
I pointed at him. I was like, hey, man, don't be saying that shit, man, for real. There's a whole bunch of people out there who's getting discriminated because the color of their skin and because of the coronavirus. So, And plus, I'm Korean, man, so don't be saying that shit. And, man, I, man let me tell you, I'm, y'all might observe that I'm a pretty soft-spoken person, but if someone get, you know, say some racial slurs to me, I'm, I'm going to say something, man. I'll get aggressive. And this kid, he, I think he almost shit his pants, like, the after after that happened the whole game he didn't say nothing he didn't even take a shot <laughs> he he was definitely nervous and his i think they, he was shocked cuz i mean in in my experience most asian um asian people don't are very passive you know when they get bullied or something they don't really say anything back but man i've been getting i've been getting discriminated since i was young i'm sure a lot of people of minority can relate and um but i mean i always say something back so i guess one might say i didn't really get bullied because i always say something back and then got aggressive with them or had to sometimes be physical and so i have a twin brother so man my brother and i we <laughs> let's just say we whooped a lot of ass when we were young and because of racial discrimination and they all regretted it and that's what you gotta do you gotta stick up for yourself but um even that moment when i told that kid man chill out don't be saying that stuff his friends laughed at him, you know, and they, I think they gained a certain uh, sense of respect. And it kind of gave me deja vu because I had these moments so much times in my life where people were, uh, you know, say something um, racially discriminating. And then I say something back and they all get shocked because, you know, probably thought I'm just going to be passive about it. But nah, <laughs> if you're a racist, man, you're going to say something bad, man. You better hope you don't say something bad. You hope, better hope you don't come across my brother and I. But um, anyways, hopefully all those kids learned a lesson. I think they did because even after the game or even, even during the game, they were all rooting for me. And I didn't play that well, honestly. I was so tired. I, I was barely running back and forth. I did make a couple shots, uh, luckily. But um, the guy, uh, all the those friends, they came up to me after the game and like shook my hands. I like, said, good job and stuff, you know, so... I, I I hope they all learned a lesson. And you know what? It's crazy, man. I grew up in a very diverse environment. You know, I grew up in South Charlotte and Wasted Square is a certain neighborhood, suburban area, with just had a lot of friends of all colors. You know what I'm saying? Growing up, um, used to hang out with people from the hood. Used to hang out with you know preppy rich kids and all that. You know, hung out a lot of a lot of different um, just friends. You know what I'm saying? And Heck, in high school, the only poster I had in my room was of Martin Luther King because I wanted to become like a civil rights leader or someone like Martin Luther King, someone that's going to, you know, try to fight for equal rights. And, you know, this kind of stuff that I still have to go through in 2020, man, it's freaking ridiculous, man. Like, absolutely ridiculous, man. Like, man, I'm sure a lot of y'all who who is just like me, who looks past the color, man, notices how much people does not look past the color you know and it's it's frustrating it can be frustrating it's definitely frustrating for me man i live in a part of town um yeah there's just a lot of racists at a lot of secret racists man coming here coming to my business always like saying just, i don't know this just but anyways yeah uh, man i can get pretty heated talking about this stuff man because if any of y'all been have gone through racial discrimination, man, y'all know how it feels, man. It's not a good feeling. Um, but hey, um, sometimes you gotta defend yourself, man, even with words. Or I'd rather not get physical, and you shouldn't really, man. But I mean, I think younger folks, like kids, sometimes you have to, man, in certain situations. You know, it's it's very complicated. I'm not promoting violence or anything like that, but um, sometimes you gotta you gotta break down some knowledge. To these uh, narrow-minded fools, man. But anyways, um, yeah, that's what happened. And <laughs> it's ridiculous, isn't it? What do y'all think? Anyways, <laughs> I can go on and on. I can tell you so many stories of racial dis discrimination. But I'm going to leave it at that. And um, yeah, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know what y'all thought about this figure, about the hunt. Uh, let me know if you grabbed any of these. Uh, stuff that I grabbed or any new new pickups and you guys want to share anything go for it um, but yeah hope y'all enjoyed hope y'all doing well hope y'all doing your best in life um, 
Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all next time, alright? Ranger out! Peace. And I will not be bullied by that. Puny God. <laughs>